Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. And today, we are going to discuss what happens when you're in a relationship and this person is very toxic to you. They are breaking your heart. You break up with them and like like that you leave this person but during this time transition from breakup to finding someone new you cry on your best friend's shoulder okay your best friend's shoulder and you accidentally I say that because in the future you will realize this. So you're crying on your best friend's shoulder and you fall in love with them. You begin to date them and Okay, I'm going to read that later. So, this is the document that I have written from a trance and the angels are telling me to, to uh, tell these people this uh, story. So, let us begin. That moment when you fall in love will, with during, well, I'm going to back up, bloopers, uh, that moment when you fall in love while crying on someone's shoulder. You allowed yourself to be with someone who gave you what you needed at that moment in time. When your heart is breaking because you were in a toxic relationship with someone else, you had to break it off, you cry on your best friend's shoulder. During your time with, wait, at, okay, at the time when your heart was breaking, you went outside your relationship that is ending and found what you desired in another. During your time with this new person, you began to long for a deeper soul connection. You began to see why you fell for this person. It was from a broken heart. Not because you wanted a deeper connection, a soul-to-soul -soul connection. You thought you were, but it turns out you were completely wrong. It only came from crying on the shoulder. They gave you what you needed at that exact moment. You ran to someone who gave you what you needed in that moment. You began to notice that you want a deeper meaning than just that. Oh. You wanted a more arousal, sexy, flirtful relationship rather than just lust alone. You want him to be something he is not. You long for something more. What once filled your relationship is no longer thou. You do not need a sugar daddy. This flirty, lustful person that you desired when your heart was breaking. 
This person who gave you their attention, but you desire a deeper. This person who gave you their attention, but you desire a deeper connection than just Karen and lust. You want a more meaningful relationship. You want him to be something he is not. You feel lonely being with this person. You begin to stop talking to this person, knowing he is not on your level, knowing what he will never be, an open third eye person in that way, knowing that he is a quiet person. It gives you space, but ultimately, it is because you left him for a to think in your head. But he is not on that level. He is not spiritual in the way you are. So you leave him out of these deeper conversations, knowing he is not going to really say. Anything about it, it is not for him to say, speak to you really in that way, and he has told you this all before, but you disregarded it, and you continued to move in forward with the relationship. You then began to seek encouragement. But he doesn't do it in the way you need him to. You want encouragement in the way that is deeper words, not just do what feels right for you. You want a person who says all the right words at all the right time. You find yourself longing for what this person shall never be. Soon, you find yourself being lust absent. Sexy is not cutting it, sir. He compliments your body, but what fueled you? Before now is absent, a hole, a void is now felt. You know now this person is not the answer anymore. He is not your soulmate. He can still be your friend, but he will never be your soulmate. And this is when you made the mistake. Of loving out of a broken heart, loving out of him, being lonely. You went to this person at the wrong time, and you thought you had found your soulmate who mended you back together. But you realize you want a deeper. Connection, a deeper communication with this person, and it will never be there. And you feel alone. You feel disconnected. You find yourself in your head more than with this person. No one. He is not on. The same level as you, his world is different than your own. You begin to drift away from this person because he is not with the third eye like you have it. You begin to drift. He thinks all is okay. You just need space. He is quiet. He hardly says anything. But you know, 
there was more to it than that, than what he sees and feels. In your mind, you keep him around because he is the only person you are talking to. Because without him, you have, like, no one else to turn to. But you still require a deeper connection, a deeper soul to soul. But this person is not given that to you. Then you begin to realize you made a mistake. You thought this was love, but as time went on, you now know what it is not love. It was just a time of weakness for you. And time tested you and you moved on from this person. And now you are still searching for that one that is compatible to you. Or you are still searching for your soul tribe. You thought this person was at that level, but he is nothing more than a human on really a lower 4, 4D rather than a higher 4D person going into 5D. He's at the lower end. Not being very spilled, so not being, um, not the way in the, not in the way you need him to be. That is why I said a lower 4D person rather than a higher 4D person. Because you can either go, okay, I'm still going to be spousal, but I'm not getting it. Or, it's not really meant for me, but I don't associate myself with toxic. However, I'm not helping you get to a higher level. I'm just, I say small things, but you require a deeper conversation, a deeper connection. So he still smelled soul, but not in the way you need him to be. Um, yeah, the uh, pr pretty heavy uh, con video. Um, as I said, my angels wanted me to make this type of video. It probably came from watching a an advice video that I um, listened to and kind of just stemmed from that. Um, but it's also... Yeah, let's just go with those two reasons. Um, Quick video <laughs> compared to my 43 minute video. This is only under 15, so yay. Until we meet again.